What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I am back with another Lightroom tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to export one or multiple images with watermarks in Lightroom. Now as always, if you would like to request a tutorial, then feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask me on my social media. So here we are in Lightroom, and as you can see on screen right now, I have the image of my cat and if you watched my previous tutorial in Lightroom where I showed you how to simply improve the image quality in Lightroom, this is that image. Now if you haven't checked that out already, I do highly recommend you do, a link to it will be in the description. It's a very basic way how to improve your photos, probably in about 5 minutes and it does make a dramatic difference. Anyway, so I'm going to be showing you how to add watermarks to your images. So once you are completed with your photo, of course you've spent time taking the photo, you've spent time editing the photo, you want to put a watermark on it and make sure you get recognized if that does go viral. So the first thing we're going to do is head up to File and Export. You'll then be presented with this. Now the first thing you're going to be seeing is watermarking. Of course this is where you want to go because you want to add a watermark. You're going to check the watermark section and then it says simple copyright watermark. We don't want that, especially if we have a logo or a signature we can add on. So we're going to select edit watermarks. So the basic watermark is just plain text. Now, by all means, you can put in your text here. So I'll just put that, for example, press control A. And of course, we can pick a font that we like. So I'll just pick, uh, let's go through. So I've just picked this font because it is very different and you'll be able to definitely see how it's uh, impacted it. So as you can see, there is the uh, text and you can just size it up or down, completely optional how you want it. And then from here, of course, you can adjust the opacity. Usually I stay with about 40% because I think that looks a lot better. And of course you can see through that text then. Now what I'm also going to do is change the align to right. So you can see it's just a bit off the edge then. Uh, the color you can change if you would like to, however, I think white will always look the best, or black, it just does depend on your image and where you place the watermark. Then for a shadow, it is completely optional whether you want it on or not, I'm just going to have it off. And then the opacity, of course, the main thing for a watermark. Now by all means, you can leave your opacity 100%, but for watermarks, I do recommend lowering it, and I'm going to pick 40%. As you can see, that's how it will look and that's how I think will always look best, not having the watermark at a full 100% opacity. And then you have the anchors, it's completely optional how you have yours again. You can see it's just something really simple to do how you want to position your watermark. Of course you can also rotate it, again that is optional. Now that's how you add that type of watermark, and from there you would just select save, call this what you want to, I would call this uh, text copyright, I'm going to call it text for now, select create. Then when you come back to export in the future, you would select this drop down and you can see it will say text straight away. Now for those that want to add their logo, come back to edit watermarks. From here at the top it says graphic, we're going to select graphic and now we're going to be looking for our logo. So I have my logo right here and it is a PNG file, which means it's going to be just that red circle along with a CS, but there won't be a background to it. It's optional if you want it that way, personally I think it looks best. I'm going to select that and select choose. Now you can clearly see at the bottom left here that it has appeared. Again, you can enlarge it or make it smaller. So for this one, we're going to scroll all the way down. You can see we don't get options for text because of course this is no longer text and you can choose the opacity again. Now for logos, I do recommend having the opacity a bit higher, so I'm gonna stay with 70% because it's a bit more difficult to see. I'm then going to position this just a little bit like that, and I'm going to leave it right here. Again, once again, full control over the anchor point, completely optional where you'd want it and how you would want your image to look. Nevertheless, once you're happy with where that watermark is, you would then select save again, and you can call this logo copyright. I'm going to call it logo, select create. From there, once you've picked either your logo or text, and of course you've adjusted your export location to how you want it, and also you have changed the file name, 
then just simply select export so I'll change this to example as you can see it's going to be changing saving to this folder here I'm going to leave it as it is for now and I'm going to select export just like that it's been exported at the top left now in the case you have multiple images now I've just dragged on two images however if you do have a lot of images say 24 then you want to export all of them at once with a watermark so you would select the first one you would hold shift on your keyboard and select the end image that would mean all of these thumbnails here at the bottom would be highlighted so you can see it changes to a white glow around it you'd simply then right click one of them select export and select export again now same simple steps select your watermark how you want it then you would call this a custom text usually for me I just leave it at underscore because then what it will do by default it will have one out of one underscore two out of two underscore and then I can just pick through the photos and edit the file names if I need to if you want to be more precise by all means you can however doing it this way is going to export all the photos at once so from here I'm just going to select export you'll see at the top left exporting two files just like that two files have been exported and that's the same way you would export multiple files using Lightroom.